In this video, I'm going to show you a concerning video posted on Instagram by one of the head members of Maverick City Music. And we're gonna ask the question, was it going too far? As well, I'm gonna show you a mashup that a very close friend of the band Maverick City Music did of a Beyonce and Maverick City Music song and the reaction from fans. But I'm also gonna show you how Maverick City themselves reacted to that mashup and what some other YouTubers, Marcus Rogers and Ruslan had to say concerning some of these issues. And hey, real quick, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Maverick City Music, Dante Bo, Chandler Moore, Marcus Rogers, Ruslan. So can we keep them in prayer, continually pray for them, that their witness for Christ would be true and pure and honorable before God? And stay tuned to the end where I wrap it all up with my thoughts on everything going on with Maverick City Music. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylon. You know, the Bible's very clear when it comes to how we should look and act as Christians, as believers, as followers of Christ. There is no shortage of scripture that gives us guidance on how we should look in the world, act in the world, and how we should live whether privately or while we're amongst the world. The Bible's very clear that as we grow in our walk with Christ, it will transform us from the inside out. Check this out in Romans 12, 2. It says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. You see this word here? The Greek word used here is actually where we get our word metamorphosis. This is a very deep transformation that it's talking about here. This is talking about transforming ourselves by renewing our mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You know, when we allow ourselves to be transformed by God's word, it is something that happens to us spiritually, mentally, and then it starts to happen physically. We renew our minds in Christ and become a new creation. And through that, it changes how we look and how we act in the world. But this does not mean that Christians should never be in the world. We're called to be in the world, remember? But not to be of the world, not to act like the world, not to blend in with the world. In John 15, 19, Jesus says, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. You know, the world's not going to embrace us with open arms. And if the world is embracing you with open arms, there's probably something theologically or doctrinally off with your message or you're suppressing it just enough to where the world actually doesn't, you know, they don't recognize that you're coming in the name of Christ. So they have nothing to hate yet. Hey, I just want to say real quick, we got some of our new merch out right now. This is one of my favorite shirts, Read the Bible. So hey, if you want to support this channel and be hip and Christian at the same time. You can find them linked down below. This is one of my favorite as well with the mountains in the back and it has 2 Corinthians on there. John 14, 6 over here. We got sweatshirts, we got t-shirts, we got long sleeve shirts. But if you want to support this channel, you can check out the link below. It says shop our merch. Hey, would you consider hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. You know, when you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. So that brings us to another concerning thing that was posted by one of the members of Maverick City Music. And they were on a party bus listening to a very particular artist. So here's the video of them on a party bus. This is Dante Bo posted this. So I can't play too much of the sound, but the song is from somebody called Bad Bunny. But here's Dante Bo and another member of Maverick City. And when you scroll through the comments, you see lots of people saying, praying for you. Bad Bunny, I don't even let my daughter listen to his music. You can't walk with God and hold hands with the devil. It just can't work. Stay in prayer for them. You have tons of people in the comments saying, this looks off. This doesn't seem right. 
What's going on here? And then when you scroll through this video as well, here they are getting off of the party bus. I'm not saying that Christians can never have fun. I, that That's not the point of this. But you look at everything. You look at what's being blared over the stereo, the strobe lights, the party bus. I'm going to give you a taste of who Bad Bunny is right now. So here's a little clip of Bad Bunny uh, at the VMAs 2022. This was just a few weeks ago. Obviously, I can't play the sound, but... So here's here he is in the midst of all these dancers. He kisses a woman, and then right here it shows him kissing a man. Bad Bunny is someone that has acknowledged in the past that right now, you know, his identity is hetero and that he is attracted to women, but he doesn't know when that's going to change. He feels like it could change at any moment. You know, Marcus Rogers, who's another Christian YouTuber, somebody that I'm not super familiar with. I do know that there are people that have some concerns with uh, him theologically. I am not completely aware of all of those concerns. I am not endorsing everything Marcus Rogers does or says. In fact, I would love to have a conversation with him just on deep theological stuff and see where his thoughts are, you know, doctrinally. But it has been pointed out to me several times that Marcus Rogers has been a huge voice against a lot of the corruption within Christian music. But I will say I do appreciate how he is so vocal against a lot of the corruption within the Christian music industry and just the Christian industry uh, in, in general and you know especially within Maverick City and how a lot of things are going down with Maverick City and this is a screenshot that Marcus Rogers pointed out this lady says Bad Bunny and Dante Bo responds you don't ever listen to Bad Bunny he's good and then she replies of course I have I'm Puerto Rican <laughs> and uh, you know Lisa's Puerto Rican too, if you didn't know. It just caught me off guard is all. And then another person replies, and satanic and devil worshiper, I can't believe you listen to that man. You proclaim Jesus and dance with the devil. That's not good at all. So obviously there are lots of people that have concerns with Dante Bo posting a video listening to such a secular artist. Another thing that was recently posted was this thing by Jameson Bethia. So this is, I guess, a friend of Maverick City. I have never, I've never heard of him before. And, and it says, not an official, he had to edit it, because it says, not an official collaboration. This was not commissioned by Maverick City. But he posted a Beyonce plus Maverick City mashup where it was playing, you know, Beyonce and Maverick City music. You know, you can't totally blame Maverick City for this because it wasn't them that commissioned it, right? However, um, you know, this is a very close friend to Maverick City, and Maverick City did comment on this. Here's Chandler Moore over here, the, one of the lead singers of Maverick City, saying fire. And Maverick City themselves commented right here. So Maverick City Music said, these comments should be full of prayer for Jameson and his family. Maverick City hasn't lost its way. We have no songs that compromise the gospel or the word of God. We don't support or preach a false doctrine, and we are not currently collaborating with Beyonce. We are, however, supporting our brother Jameson and his musical genius, and we are praying for his family. So if you notice the words here, it says, we are not currently collaborating with Beyonce. Obviously, leaving the door open to collaborating with Beyonce, who is, well, here's just a little taste of Beyonce on a horse with her very occult symbolism. She loves the occult symbolism. And, you know, I talked about Beyonce uh, in a video I did uh, called Demi Lovato Made a Huge Mistake. In fact, the beat with Alan Parr. Alan Parr did a great video going over Beyonce's newest album and how absolutely demonic it is and how sexually perverted it is. And when you mix demonic with sexual perversion, that's just a recipe for disaster. But, you know, it was a great video if you want to get an idea of where Beyonce's at. But I will say that my boy Ruslan KD, he had actually a great response here that I want to show you. Ruslan said, I can see how this can cause a divide and reaction like this. From one standpoint, Jameson mashed up a same chord progression by a popular artist, Dowdy Men Any Harm. 
From another standpoint, that popular artist has a track record of saying some of the most blasphemous and bizarre things about the very Jesus and faith Maverick City represents. Something that wasn't meant to be offensive can be. This is why we read The Room. I do find it unnecessary to gaslight Christians as if being offended by Beyonce lyrics is unreasonable. But he makes a good point here about people that are so caught off guard that Christians would find uh, an issue with, you know, mashing up Beyonce and Maverick City. They are completely antithetical to each other. They, they, they don't match. They are on opposite ends of the spiritual spectrum. Call a spade a spade. She's a brilliant artist whose content is positioning her more and more as an enemy of the gospel. That's not the church bugging. That's not patriarchy or white supremacy. That's not conspiracy theory. Those are the lyrics she chooses to sing. We all have our biases for artists and guilty pleasures for media, but does that need to be shared on social media? You know, Ruslan has a great point here. You can't get more opposite than Maverick City and Beyonce. What Maverick City claims to represent and what Beyonce is clearly representing. And I want to make this absolutely clear. When I say we shouldn't sound like the world or these artists shouldn't sound like the world, I am not talking about the sound of the music. I do not believe that the sound of the music is inherently evil. If there's drums or it sounds like rock or if it's rap music, there's no inherent evil there. What I do mean by sounding like the world is how we represent ourselves and our speech. If everything we talk about and all of our communication outside of the music has to do with the exact same things of the world and we never talk about Jesus Christ or share the gospel, and I know we don't see every little thing that goes on in their personal lives, but I'm talking about their platform. When their platforms, what they share publicly on a daily basis on social media, when 1% of it, if that, has to do with Jesus, then 99% of the time you sound like the world. Forget the world here. A lot of Christians are having an issue with fellow Christians having an issue with a lot of these artists looking and sounding exactly like the world. There's no standard here. There's no biblical standard or moral standard or just standard that says, I am going to be in the world and share the message of the gospel in the world, but I'm not going to look like the world. I'm not going to sound like the world. There really shouldn't be any moral standard here. There shouldn't be any type of standard for how we look and act in front of the world, in front of those who are lost, who desperately need a savior. But hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and hear your thoughts on all this. Do you think that we should have a standard? And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be a part of this community with us. I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And please hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people. So would you help me spread this message? And if you feel led to give to this ministry, there's a little money icon under this video where you can donate and your donations would help us continue to put out content on a regular basis. But please never feel pressure to give ever. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.